I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face. And <laughs> Channel memberships are now available. Just hit the join button next to the subscribe button to become a channel member for exclusive videos and perks. Thank you for your support. Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. So, we are going to be talking about the shape, um, the boogeyman, the myth, Michael Myers, Michael Audrey Myers. We've got Halloween Ends that's coming. And like I've said, uh, I know you guys probably know this. I'm excited. I want to see what's going to happen. I'm really, really hyped up. But what I wanted to talk about just for a few minutes with you guys, and, and please let me know what you think. Everybody wants to know, is Michael going to die? That's that's the main thing. Is Michael going to live or is he going to die at the at the end of Halloween ends? And I think that it's a simple question, but yet it's complicated. Now, obviously, what I'm saying for this video, if you've looked at the thumbnail, I'm saying you can kill the boogeyman. That's that's what I'm titling it. I think the end of Halloween ends is going to be first of all, I think it's going to be fantastic because it has to be. I mean, they've been leading up to this moment. I think they understand um, that people are expecting high quality as far as the story, as far as the resolution, as far as the character arcs. Now, I've talked about what I think as far as Allison's character arc, played by played wonderfully by Andy Matichek. I think that she's going to be totally badass. She's going to be just gunning for Michael Myers. You can see that in her character arc. But as far as Michael in this movie, and I'll talk a little bit more about those things in other videos as far as what he's been doing for four years, um, how this movie is going to show him, characterize him, and so forth. But the bottom line is Michael's going to be doing what Michael does. He's going to be taking people out, and I think they're going to take some cues um, from Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills as far as how Michael is depicted. You know, the way he did things in, in these two movies showed a lot more depth um, to just how he operates. And I think that that was really cool. Played marvelously by James Drew Courtney. But the bottom line is the third act is going to be about Michael. To me, it's going to be about Michael versus Laurie Strode and Allison. And I think, I honestly think at the end of this movie, it's going to be a question of... You know, Laurie Strode and Michael have to have their face off, but I think Allison is going to be in the mix, and I think Allison is going to be doing um, a lot of damage to Michael. I think that she's going to be, you know, really prominent in this this face off, and I think it's going to be at the end that she's going to be in dire need of saving, and it'll be Laurie Strode who will save her granddaughter and sacrifice herself to kill Michael. Now, a lot of people are probably wondering, well, why do you think that? Or they might be thinking, you know, how is that going to happen? I don't think it's going to be a, a redo of how she quote unquote killed him in H2O. I don't think it's going to be her beheading him. Of course, that would be a definitive way to kill Michael. Um, I also know a lot of people, myself included, very curious and, and excited um, and so forth about this whole idea of what the radio tower is going to be about in this movie. Um, I've talked about some theories on previous videos, so please check those out. But it could be the type of thing where there's a fall from the radio tower. Um, it could be a lot deeper than that. Um, we'll have to see. But I think Laurie is going to do a sacrifice uh, to kill Michael. Now, here's the other thing. Some people are probably going to wonder, well, is this it? Is this the end of Michael Myers? Now, I said you're going to kill him. But I did. <laughs> and I know people are going to be like, oh, you're, you're, you're trolling, you're trolling. Look, man, you know the real deal. You can't kill the boogeyman, okay? Um, I think it's going to be the type of thing where she's going to do away with Michael and it will be somehow either left up in the air or either it could be something a lot more weird, which that's a theory. That's a whole nother theory. 
But I think at the end of this movie, there's going to be some type of sign, some type of, of camera shot, some type of sounds, something that's going to make you wonder, is he really dead? I, I honestly think that whether it's the breathing, like at the end of Halloween 78, because um, you saw all the places that he had been to, and then you heard the breathing. Um, you didn't know his fate because he got shot. We know that because Loomis said it. I shot him six times. I shot him in the heart. I shot him in the heart. That can't have gotten very far. Come on. I shot him six times. This guy, this man, is, he's not human. Um, and he fell, and he should have. He should have been dead, but he obviously walked away. Um, so in this movie, I think it's going to be something similar to where he should be dead. But they're going to give us some type of idea that maybe he isn't. I know that's a little bit of a cop-out, guys. But I honestly think that's how it's going to happen. Jamie Lee Curtis has talked about how people are going to be pissed at the end of this movie. And I think that's what she's referring to. That Laurie Strode will die. Michael will die. But then there's going to be some type of open-endedness to it. I think that's exactly how they're going to do it. Which is, I think, a way to honor John Carpenter as well. Because his whole idea of Michael, the mythology, is that evil never dies. Um, evil, evil is is beyond man. We've seen Michael be more than than a man, you know, or at least at that that upper upper level, um, as far as what he's able to do, what he's able to take, you know, his 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 influence, the evil, the influence that he's had on Haddonfield, the influence that he's had on Laurie Strode and her whole family. So that's what I think. I think it's going to be a marvelous end. I, th I think Lori is going to sacrifice herself to save her granddaughter. And it's going to look like she kills him. But, and, he, and, 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 and that's the other thing too. This is the end of the trilogy. So she might actually kill him. But I think there's going to be something that's going to make us say, now wait a minute. What if, you know, something similar to like how the end of Inception, you saw that top spinning. And then right before Christopher Nolan cut the movie, it just had a small little wobble. I think that's something that's, that's going to be very similar in Halloween Ends. And I think, and just talking about it right now, a few obviously months before it comes out, I kind of like that. Um, because Michael Myers, he's the essence of evil. You know, so I think it's actually a really cool way to end it. We'll see. This is just a theory. I'm just talking. I wanted to talk to you guys about this because so many people have been asking me and I've said to people, I'm working on, you know, some stuff. I wanted to do a video like this. I've also wanted to do some live streams where I have other folks talking about it because I'm a huge fan of the franchise. I'm a huge fan of Michael Myers. You guys know that. Um, so anyways, that's what I'm thinking. You can kill the boogeyman, but at the end of the day, you can't kill the boogeyman, Michael Audrey Myers. Some way, somehow, we're going to be thinking there's a possibility that he is still alive. That's what I'm thinking. I'm sticking with it. But you guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Is he going to die? Is he not? Why? What do you think about it? Give the video a like. That'll help support the channel. If you're not subscribed to the Nightwatch Zone, like my buddy Fate Decided says, what are you doing? do that help us out so that we can continue to bring you all this interesting conversation that we'd love to talk about so anyways if you're watching this if you're listening to this you are the night watch peace out mm -hmm.